On YouTube, you see quite a few channels that talk about Mennonite life, and they have very modern homes, and they're very modern in every way of their life. But my ancestors were plain Mennonite, and so we were brought up plain Mennonite, and I'm going to share with you my home, which is the plain Mennonite home. I hope you enjoy it, and come along and clean with me. Today's the day I'm going to start doing some winterizing, just a little bit inside the house. You know what? We're in the middle of October, and soon it's going to be Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So, here we go. This is a built-in air conditioner. This is basically the only one we use in our bedroom, and so I have got to cover it. It's not easy to cover this thing. really makes a difference. It's quilted and it also keeps the cold air from coming in and I insulate it in the outside. But I want to show you what I bought. So that's so now I want to show you what I bought. As you buy your everyday needs on Amazon but you use my storefront I'm able to get some credits and I use the credits for some new flannel bedding. Oh, It feels so good. I wanted to find something that was really cozy and something that just says Tessie. It's king size and as you can see there's moose on it. So let's get making the bed. My bed is really really old but we have a lot of covers that we lay on top of and that really helps our bed stay nice and soft. But it's going to be nice to have some new flannel sheets on our bed because our old ones had holes on it wasn't that expensive. I think it was under $30. I can't wait to when hubby gets home and gets to see the new sheets because he doesn't even know about it and they do feel a lot warmer than our old ones. Wow, doesn't that look so much better? It's actually king size so it fits. The other ones we had were queen and we tried to make them stretch to fit. Alright, I'm going to finish making the bed and then I'll get working on something next. Now you're going to notice that we put a lot of covers on our bed. We actually have it very cold here at our house until it gets to be in the middle of the winter when we turn on our wood pellet stove. But we like our bedroom to stay cool. So we have a lot of covers. So many people remark about all of my quilts. I have lots of heirloom quilts and I cherish them. I set a really warm bedding that I put on sometime in January and February. January is our coldest months, so January and February are really cold here. So I saved those. This is perfect. So we got the bed made, and now we're going to go to dusting the furniture, and then I'm going to put some pictures in some picture frames. You know, everything in my home reflects the old and the new. New technology, a digital clock. And then we have the oil lamps. <laughs> That's how my house is. Just about everything I have as far as furniture came from my husband's side of the family. They are heirlooms, wedding gifts, like the old clock that were given to Grandma Fanny's parents. And believe it or not, it still works. Inside the clock is an old necklace that Fanny was buried with, and I have the other one. They're two hearts, and they go together. I cherish that. And here is Grandma Fanny's 
husband's parents. And this is the furniture that they owned. This is their wedding picture, their wedding invitation. And these are things that I cherish. Being that my side of the family was really plain, we didn't have a whole lot of pictures. My daughters gave me their school pictures. And I didn't have any frames for them. But last week, one of you sent But one of you last week sent me a box and in the box was two picture frames. Now that video is coming out next week. And I really want to thank you for the box of beautiful treasures that you found for me. But you didn't realize that I actually needed these picture frames. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Who would have guessed? So we're going to put the pictures in the picture frames. Isn't that darling? Take a look. That is Sienna. People know that I like old things, and so when they go to thrift stores and places like that, they see things, and she picked them up for me. I think she did. I don't think it was something she had. I think she found it. Either way, it's things I can really use. <laughs> and it fits perfect. I am so excited. Isn't that perfect? So thank you for your box of neat things that you gathered for me. Now I'll put these right beside my bed. So we got that down. We're going to finish dusting the bedroom and then I'm going to work on some other areas of my house. So we found these battery operated lights and they were at the family dollar and I think I paid like a dollar fifty for them. So we put them on that little tree. My granddaughter put them on for me and it just adds a little bit of lighting in here so far this fall came in with clouds and everything is always so dark and cloudy but we can add a little bit of happiness a little bit of sunlight so i got these at the dollar tree so that was a dollar at the dollar tree and the candle i got last year for a dollar now doesn't that bring just a little more happiness into a dark and dreary room? Teddy bears, I moved them from our bed to the sofa because I enjoy seeing them. So I have some books I need to research this week. So I put them in my little box here. And all of my notes. So they go right here near my sofa where I sit. That way I can work on it. So once a week, I go through my library of my books and I pick out the books that I want to do videos on or get ideas from. And this is this week's books. It looks great. Wow, this room is all cleaned up now. I know it's really dark, but everything's cleaned up. And now I'm going to move on to the kitchen. I had this in for over two months. Really, is no smell to it anymore. And I got this last year at Walmart for a dollar. It is toasted marshmallow or fresh fallen snow. So we're going to put in some toasted marshmallows. So we'll see what it smells like. There we go. So now we gotta clean all this stuff up and I need to dust off all of my woodwork here. And I got this for $4 last year and it's called Clean Polish. It's made for the real old wood like this. And so I like using this for all of my old wood. 
So it's time to put all of these away. This is my lemon verbena. Ooh, it smells amazing. So I get to put that out in the pantry because they're all dried and I have them in the paper bags. I wanted to share with you what I've been working on the last couple days. So with the preserving almost finished for the year, I've really been working on organizing my pantries. And it's a lot of work. It's not something that only takes a few hours. It takes a few days. So this is the out porch pantry and I wanted to work out here before the cold air sets in. Now it's really dark in this room but I have all of my food organized all of my baskets washed and cleaned all the cobwebs are taken down and I'm really pleased with how this room turned out <laughs> 